An estate plan is especially important for a single parent. Hi, my name is Amanda Rocha. I'm an estate planning and probate attorney in California. And today I'm going to talk to you about why an estate plan is so important for single parents. Before I get into that, I'd like to give you my contact information. You can find me on my website, www.amandarochalaw.com. You can follow along on my social media. I'm at Amanda Rocha Law or comment down below if this platform allows you to do so. I've had many clients who are single parents and generally they have two concerns. One, who is going to take care of my children if they are minors when I become incapacitated or pass away? And two, who will take care of their inheritance for them when I pass away? So let's just get into the thick of the problem here. Most people who are single parents do not want their children's other parent to be in charge of their child's inheritance. It's not necessarily a question as to whether or not that person would be honorable or whether or not that person has the capabilities of doing it. It's more of a privacy issue and just a protection issue for their children. So what can you do to prevent your ex from basically taking your child's inheritance and spending it wherever they want? Uh, well, what you can do is you could create a trust for your children. And with this irrevocable trust, you will put your property in there. That's your house if you have one, your life insurance policy, your bank accounts, you can use your pour over will to put all of your personal property into the trustee's hands when you pass away so that whoever you name as your trustee will be able to take over all of the things when you pass away um, or when you're incapacitated and take care of your children with them. Your children, however, will go to the guardianship of their other parent if something were to happen to you if that other parent has custody or custody hasn't actually been removed from them. If you have a situation where they do not have custody for a reason, any reason, um, then you need to name a replacement guardian. And in fact, even if they do have their other parent who's living in perfectly good health, you should still have a guardianship declaration with a backup because something could happen to both of you in rapid succession or even a couple of years apart. And if that other parent does not have something in writing, you should, and that's not just in writing, it's notarized, it's, it's a specific form. Um, so you wanna protect your kids. And I understand that. And being a single parent, it's a little bit more difficult when you don't have joint accounts with another person who will take over in the meantime before they get their affairs in order as well. If you have questions about this, I'm happy to answer them. If you're in California, you can contact me on my website, www.amandarochalaw.com. You can comment down below if this platform allows you to do that or follow along on my social media and send me a direct message. I'm at Amanda Rocha Law. And if you've made it this far, I also want to tell you that I have a special deal for single parents. If you are single and you want to protect your family, I have a discounted rate. So make sure to mention that to me when you reach out that you saw this video and you are interested in the single parent discounted rate. Thank you.